MTT8 is all about syncopation. Um, syncopation is actually a really important um, element of music when we're talking about rhythm. So let's get into it. Instead of writing music on the usual beats of the bar, sometimes composers throw notes off beat before or after the beat. Um, and when you do that, this, it's called syncopation. And it's been popular with composers writing in lots of different styles. Um, these two syncopated patterns um, below are things you need to recognize in grade two. So we've got this first syncopated rhythm. This is an offbeat rhythm here. And it's good to compare this with this onbeat rhythm. We've got a time signature of two crotchet beats per bar. So here's the first beat and here's the second beat. If you kind of line those up, you can see that the first note here lines up nicely with that first beat. And then our second beat goes here. Now we don't have a note that lines up with that. We've got this note, which is an offbeat note. So this note is offbeat and this note is offbeat. So that makes it syncopated. And when we play that, so here's the, the pulse of the, the on beat, two, one, two, and this is the rhythm. One, two, one and, and. Okay, so one and two and. So we've got these notes that come in between the beat. Okay, here's another example. Here's an offbeat um, rhythm here. Uh, this is actually, I would say, uh, not such a good example, but um, it, it's a similar case here actually, where but it's just doubled. So you can see this would line up with this, and then we've got another here. So this is actually a very similar rhythm to that, um, but it's just in 4-4. Four, four. Okay, look at the way they are written. They break the normal rules for grouping notes. So here, we've no longer got this pairing of, um, you know, quaver and then another quaver to pair up with that to keep the beats, the crotchet beats together. Remember when you've got uh, four at the bottom, you want to be thinking, grouping in cr crotchets. Here we've kind of messed that up. Um, so, and that's right in this case, not like this, where now you can see much more clearly we've got this pairing here of quavers to make a crotchet. This is incidentally is the same, would sound the same here, as because we've got that tied together to make that crotchet. But um, we we don't need to write it like this, we write it like this, okay? So um, write two more repeats of these syncopated ostinati. An ostinati, an ostinato, is a, a repeated pattern. Um, okay, so we've got this, and we just copy that out. So that's pretty pretty easy. It's just getting you used to writing these syncopated rhythms. So we'll start with the quaver, and then the crotchet, and then the quaver. And that's it, and do that again, and that will give you your two marks for each bar, and the same here. That's pretty easy. And, and uh, the next page, do the same thing, copy these out here and here, and the same there. And then it's your turn to get creative and write your own rhythms, and they need to be syncopated now. So um, so you do actually need to make sure they're syncopated, and how do you do that? Well, it's all about messing with this normal grouping, and, um, and to do this, I would suggest you try and start with a, a quaver. If you start with a quaver and then a and then a crotchet, that's going to kind of mess up the the beat, okay? Um, and then you can just fill up the rest of it with the right number of beats, okay? So see how you get on with that, and have a go at actually um, playing them as well. See how they sound, all right? And we'll try that in class. Okay, good luck with that.